for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person that you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. Knight of Cups. And it's with the Five of Swords. Now the Knight of Cups is optimistic. It's a really, really good card to see in a reading. Now this one actually comes with messages. It's a it's um a message bearer. And usually these are the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. This Knight of Cups, it would tell you that things are going to be going well. You could start to feel charged up and ready for action, as that is how the Knight of Cups is. This card, it often means that good news, especially in the realm of matters of the heart, it's headed your way soon. Now, it's with the Five of Swords. With this card, you're likely to find yourself with some mixed feelings. It could be about life in general, maybe about a person or a few people in particular. So, don't ignore these feelings, but when you get the Five of Swords, you have to make sure that you don't speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. Because this could actually ruin the things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends or your lover. So you got to make sure you think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. So, Nine of Cups, clarified by the Five of Swords, recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. What I'm getting, Aquarius, is that it looks like you were upset. If you look at the Five of Swords, this card below the word pass, this man who's running around, really angry, scaring everyone, being really pissed. He's got two swords in his hand and three on the ground, and he'll pick them up and use them if he has to. There were people sitting there at that fire, but when they got a glimpse of him, they all scrammed. They got out of town. They ran. So, your person made you really angry. Something, something they said. Something they did. Yeah, maybe you were offended. But it made you mad. And they knew it. So there they are, the Knight of Cups. The card above the word pass. They come rushing in. Trying to fix things. Being romantic and sensitive. Yeah. They could have been calling you or texting you. But for some of you, they, they came rushing in towards you. Yeah. They wanted to fix whatever wrong they did. Yeah, they felt that you were upset and pissed. But that's a recent past energy between you and your person. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We've got the Six of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, with the Nine of Cups. Now, the Six of Pentacles is actually a sign of a turn for the better, which is a good thing. Particularly, it could be with regards to money. Because when you hear the word Pentacles... That means money, cash, coins, finance, for when you hear that word in the tarot. It's actually one of the more positive pinnacles in the deck. It speaks of equality, fairness, and the nature of life. So when this card appears, you could be heading into a positive cycle, not just a positive time, not just a positive day, but a whole complete cycle. Six of Pentacles can be a card about generosity. Yeah. Meaning that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. 
So share what you have because there's only someone who needs it. Now to the Nine of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's, it's actually known as the Wish card. It could mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. The appearance of this card, it's about happiness, good things to come. It usually means, it, it usually means that, that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most po powerful indicator of yes. So, coming up, Aquarius, Six of Pentacles, clarified by this Nine of Cups. Like I said, your person, they know they messed up. They did something stupid. They said something stupid. They hurt your feelings and you're mad. So it looks like coming up, they could start to um, reach out to you more. Being very kind, like the Six of Pentacles. Like the Six of Pentacles is about giving. They could start doing nice things for you. Maybe buying you gifts, taking you out, being very generous to you, just to butter you up. Yeah, make you feel better. Make up for whatever they did or whatever they said. Now, because it's, with the, it's clarified by the Nine of Cups, what I'm kidding is that the Nine of Cups is a, actually a wish come true. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but your person, they, f they find you to be their wish come true. This person has very strong desire for you. When they're with you, they feel blessed and satisfied. That's what you get with the Nine of Cups. So if, you, if you're not with this person and you haven't heard from them, they should, they, it looks like they'll be reaching out to you. Yeah, trying to make good. They'll probably be trying to do something really nice for you. Yeah, you're their wish come true, Aquarius. Well, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Five of Cups. And it's with the Eight of Swords. Now, the Five of Cups is actually a card that reminds us where we put our focus it has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. What are you going to choose to focus on? That's the question. The implication is clear. Are you going to focus? Well, are you going to put it this way? Are you going to cry over spilt milk or or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? Because the point is you have to watch where you put your focus when you get the Five of Cups and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. Now, it's with this Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords, it's showing that you could be holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future. Or maybe because you're wary of getting hurt by a situation or maybe it could be for no reason at all and i say for no reason at all because if you take a look at the eight of swords it's the card below the word challenge this man he's standing in front of a fire and well actually the fire is behind him he's caged himself in with all these swords there's a huge bull right behind him. And he's just standing there. I know you can feel the heat. There's a huge opening right in front of him. He could just put one foot in front of the other and run. So that's why I'm saying um, you have to think through what it is you're afraid of because for some of you, the truth of the situations. They're probably much less frightening than your mind is making out to be. So your challenge, Aquarius, Five of Cups, clarified by the State of Swords. So yeah, you could be 
still holding on to whatever this person did that pissed you off. You're still holding on to it with this Five of Cups showing up here. You're trying to focus on the positive, but you could be having a difficult time. And I say this because I'm looking at the Eight of Swords. You're not moving forward. Yeah, you're just standing there. You are not putting one foot in front of the other and going towards this person. You're having a really hard time getting over whatever happened. No matter how generous and kind they are to you coming up. This Five of Cups is about disappointment. So you're still holding on to to this past hurt. And you're disappointed. So you're holding yourself back. You're kind of like stuck in your head. Yeah, whatever happened is... It's it's embedded in your head, and you you just haven't been able to let it go. So let's move on over. Let's take a look look and see what the outcome is, because we got the nine of pentacles, which is actually good, and it's with the ten of swords. Now the nine of pentacles is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries are over for a while, and that things will be going better than you thought ever possible. Enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth. Share your happiness with others. Nine of Pentacles is with this Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. When the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, well, it's actually a pretty clear answer of no. However, Keep in mind, whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation better for you. So your outcome, Nine of Pentacles, clarified by this Ten of Swords. So for a lot of you, Aquarius, you could start to feel like the connection is ruined. That's what you get with the Ten of Swords. You might feel like um, it's failed. The connection is a failure. You've been defeated. And you just no longer trust that the connection is stable. And you could be feeling like you, you want a good relationship. Because the Nine of Pentacles can be about... Um, a relationship taking off to the next level, new heights of intimacy and joy. It's about things going better than you thought possible. So you could be wanting things to be better, and you could just, you're not trusting the connection anymore, or at least for now, because you're still holding on to that disappointment. And you're having a hard time moving forward with your person. They feel like you're their wish come true, and you may, you probably don't even know it. They're blessed and satisfied. They feel blessed and satisfied to have you. Nine of Cups is, is awesome for how a person is feeling about their person. Yeah, don't be surprised if they reach out to you. Being, being like the Nine of Cups... Looks like they probably already tried, but they'll be back trying to do nice things for you. But you don't, you coming up, you could just start to feel like you, the connection is a flop. You're holding on to this past hurt or whatever they did that upset you. Nine of Pentacles is saying you want, you want the best. You, you want something good. You want something better. Or you could be thinking that you you wish the connection was good. You wish it was better. You wish, maybe you, you're wishing or hoping that whatever happened didn't happen. Because maybe at one point you felt it was like the Nine of Pentacles really good. Or you just wanted to take off to better heights. 
and you're having a hard time letting it do that because something happened that caused a huge disappointment. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong and take, take a care. Come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind when you get these readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. You could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, co -worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because these are general readings. Yes, they are. They're not personal readings. So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing all of you Happy New Year's. Happy, I'm wishing you the best of 2021. I hope to see you at the next reading. Have a great day. Take care. Take care.